Hey, so a lot of you wanted me to make a quick tutorial on how to get the Gorilla Tag model and bring it into Blender so you can make cool animations like this. First, obviously you need Blender. You can either download it from their website or you can download it off of Steam. The choice is yours. Now, of course, you'll also need the model, so for that, you can get it from my Discord. If you don't know how to get there, it's pretty simple. You just go to my TikTok, click the link in the bio, open anyways if you're on PC, and click Discord. Once you're in, you'll see this little verify channel. You gotta click it to get access to the whole server. You can scroll down to Files, Gorilla Tag Files, and just download this. Once that's done, you can go ahead and go to your Downloads folder and extract the zip. Extract all, pick wherever you want it, I'll just put it back in the downloads folder. Once that's downloaded, you can go ahead and open up Blender and click open. Now, go to your downloads folder, Gorilla Tag stuff, Blender project, and just open this project file. You can go up here to get to rendered view, and here it is. Or, if you want, you can go to textured view so it'll run a little bit better. Sometimes the textures won't be linked up correctly and you'll just have purple instead of the actual texture. To fix that, you can just go up here to shading and then come down to material properties and click whichever texture you want. So if my face texture is missing, I can just press this little button right here, open image, and it may not open here, so just go to your downloads, gorilla tag stuff, textures, and here's the face. So it's linked up right. Make sure that this top one is set to closest. Sometimes by default it could be linear, and if it's set to linear, you'll see it's not really pixely, it's more of a blur. Closest will give it that nice pixelated look that Gorilla Tag has. Now if you want to change the color of your model's fur, you can go ahead and just click this button on the color ramp I've added, and literally just change the color, just like this. If you want to be able to pose the model, just come over here to layout, select the armature, and switch from object mode to pose mode. From here, you'll be able to rotate individual bones to pose the model. So I could do the head bone, this arm bone, whatever I want. Now let's say you're having this issue. You rotate one of the bones and nothing happens. Let me show you how to fix that real quick. Go back to object mode, select the mesh, and then shift click the armature to select both of them. On your keyboard, press control P and then pick armature to form with automatic weights. Now just make sure that the armature is the only thing selected. Go back to pose mode and your problem should be fixed. Also, just in case, if you guys want to put some cosmetics on it, go up here to File, Import, FBX, and then you can go down here to Downloads, Gorilla Tag stuff, and pick Hats. Here is just a bunch of random cosmetics that I downloaded from the game. Let's say that you want the headphones, so just select it, press Import, FBX. As long as you haven't moved the model around, it should be lined up correctly. But you'll see it's kind of transparent, just click off of it, click it again, Come over to Material Properties, scroll down, click Viewport Display, Alpha Blend, change that to Opaque. That should fix that issue. Now once you add cosmetics, you'll notice that when you go back to Pose Mode, then oh, they don't link up. Here's how to fix that. It's literally the same way as before, except instead of selecting the monkey, select the cosmetic, shift-click the armature, control P to parent with automatic weights. Now click off of it, click the armature, go back to Pose Mode, and it should work fine. Some of the cosmetics, I'm not sure what causes this issue because I'm fairly new to rigging in Blender, but some cosmetics will deform if you turn the head too far. See, here's a good example right here. I turn the head, it's like not really connected anymore. It's twisted in weird ways. The only fix for that I have is don't move it too much. I mean, I'm no expert. I just know some things about Blender. Now, some of you watching this video might be new to Blender, so just in case you don't know, here's how to render out your image if you want to make like a profile picture or something. Click the camera, and it'll switch to camera view. Then you can pick view, navigation, walk navigation. And then you can just use WASD on your keyboard and the mouse and move the camera around just like a video game. Once you've got everything the way you want it, you can go ahead and come down here to output properties and then pick where you want the file to go. Just as an example, I'll go ahead and just pick one of my hard drives, name it whatever I want, except once you've picked where you want it to go in the file name, you can mess with these settings as you like if you know how to use them. Then you can just press F12 on your keyboard and it'll go ahead and start rendering out for you. Now, I hope this tutorial helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to support me and y'all have a good day.